Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here tackling another declutter in my collection. I think this is going to be the last one for a while. Um, when I did kind of decide I wanted to declutter some stuff in my collection, it was mainly just eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks as you can see today. Um, this is a problem category, or like I mean, I do have lipsticks overall to be honest, it's a lip product overall, it's a problem category for me. However, liquid lipsticks is just something that I don't wear very often anymore. And I just wanted to go through them and declutter. But before we jump into that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just start organizing these babies. Okay, so here we have all of the liquid lipsticks that I have. I'm hoping they're all in frame. Um, so yeah, this is what my collection looks like at the moment. I do believe I have 45 um, at the moment, at least according to my spreadsheet. So unless I'm missing something here, that is the amount that I have. And how I'm going to tackle this today is I'm going to go through these lipsticks and I'm going to kind of decide what I want to keep straight away and what I want to decolor kind of initially. And after that, I'm going to put some things to the side as like a maybe pile. And I think I'm going to do some sort of like keep 10, declutter 10 thing with those. Um, where I actually try them on my lip and I see how, how I like them on myself because I feel like I do have a lot of stuff here and that I haven't worn in a really really long time. I just feel like with some of these I kind of just don't want to make a decision straight away because I'm not sure if I like them or if the formula is still good. Um, so because of that that's kind of how I'm going to structure it. But I'm going to kind of go through these in category first and I'm going to start by organizing them into like for example reds, like more kind of vampy shades, purples, mauves, nudes things like that um, and I'm just going to tackle one category at a time and yeah I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to start with reds I believe okay so these are the shades that I have right here and um, this one isn't really a red but it's more of an orangey shade and I don't really know where to put it because I do have some other kind of orangey reds here. So you have some I'll take like kind of the more orangey uh, shades and these are the more kind of true reds. And out of these uh, I'm going to start with the true reds first because obviously I have three and I do like reds and I do like wearing red lipstick but I don't think I necessarily need to keep all of these. This one right here which is the Sephora Collection uh, Liquid Lipstick in 01 is my absolute favourite. I'm going to try to do small swatches because I don't have any makeup wipes so I'm going to try to fit as much on here as possible. But this is my favourite red lip uh, liquid lipstick and I'm definitely going to keep this one. However, this one which is the shade Outlaw from Kat Von D or KVD Beauty as they're now called. Um, I think this one is a bit deeper and I don't love it as much. I mean, it's beautiful in the tube, but I just, from memory, know that I don't like it as much on their lips. Yeah, it's definitely kind of more like strawberry and slightly deeper. So I think this one will be decluttered because I don't, like, I know that if I'm going to reach for a red, I'm definitely going to pick this one over this one. So because of that, Outlaw is going to be decluttered and the 01 from Sephora Collection is going to stay. Then with this one, I'm actually not going to swatch it out because this is uh, an own opened uh, liquid lipstick and I've been keeping this forever because I wanted to try this formula and yeah I just feel like it's a nice thing it's not too old either I got this uh, as a gift book purchase maybe like a year ago so I mean it is older but it's still not open so I think I'm gonna keep this unopened and see if anyone that I know wants this because it's no point me opening this because I know I'm gonna reach for this one if I want the red like I mentioned um, so this one is going to be decluttered as well, but it's going to be passed on. Okay, so doing good so far. We decluttered two out of three. Um, but I know it's not going to like, kind of stay on like that. And I forgot to say, my goal with this is to ideally declutter, maybe not half, but since I have 45, maybe if I can declutter 20 of them, that would be amazing. Because I know the shades here that I do like, but I'm just so overwhelmed by the pure amount of liquid lipstick that I have at the moment and I just really want to narrow them down to the ones that I really really enjoy and then hopefully then I will reach for my liquid lipsticks a bit more because at the moment I don't reach for them at all. So that's going to be my goal. Will you see how it goes? But so far I'm doing well. So these are kind of the orangey reds and I'm going to start again with my favourite. This is the KVD liquid lipstick in Agogo. I recently wore this in my Pandas eyeshadows update and so many like this shade on me and so do I. It's my favourite kind of uh, shade to wear in summer if I want to go for bright lip. It's more of a kind of true orange or an orangey red but I still put it in this category because I don't have that many kind of 
reds nor oranges so I kind of wanted to do all of these together but this is my absolute favorite use bright ready orangey lip to wear in summer so I'm definitely gonna keep this one with these two though these are hard maybes because both of them I do like I love the formula of the Maybelline um, stay matte liquid lipsticks matte inks that's what they're called but this shade it looks beautiful on the tube but it just comes off as more of a kind of coral rather than like orange or red and because of that I just don't love it so it really breaks my heart because I love the formula of these but I just don't know when I would wear it oh god looking at it now though it's beautiful um, I was gonna be ready to declare it, but it's, it, it's like it's literally one formula that I really enjoy. I love this compared to a lot of other liquid lipsticks, but I also had this in my I think shook my stash or was it my whole collection for the pan? One out of two, and I didn't reach for this that much, um, and it was I remember it was like difficult for me to reach for, but I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile because I'm not sure about it. Um, but it might be one that they clutter when I get to that other video. And then we have this one. This is a lipstick that I've held on for for so long. This is a Colourpop Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pacific. I love the shade of this. It's such a nice, um, kind of bright, out there kind of summer shade. And I've kept this around because of the shade. But the formula is awful. Even when it was fresh, it was awful. It was flaked off. It didn't perform very well. And looking at it now, although I really, really love the shade, I feel like a go go kind of hit that spot for me now. Although they're not obviously the same. Hopefully, you can see that they are kind of in the same family. And I think it's time to let this one go because this one is embarrassingly old. I mean, you guys know when <laughs> Colourpop Ultra Matte lips were hyped up, and that's when I bought this. So yeah, this one is definitely one that is very very old and I think it's time to let this one go. So so far six lip products gone through, three decluttered, one in my maybe and two kept. So that's going really well. I'm not going to say this every time I go for new lipsticks but um, just to sum up how I'm doing so far that's pretty good. I think the next category I'm going to tackle is my kind of vampy lips. So I'm going to pull out some of those and we can tackle those shades. Okay, so I think these are the ones that I would call vampy. We have some purples and some kind of other shades, but I feel like these are the ones that I want to tackle in this category. And as you can see, these are more kind of traditional kind of vampy plummy shades, and then we have these two. Let's just start with these two because I think I'm going to keep both of them because I just love them as like fun lip products. I don't really have many fun kind of weird colored lipsticks and the formula for example of this one this is echo i believe yeah echo from kvd it's beautiful still it's a beautiful shade i love wearing this when i go to my local rock festival back in sweden i love this uh yeah it's a beautiful shade and i'm definitely gonna keep this one um also another thing that i like doing with my um liquid lipsticks is wear them as liners and this is a beautiful navy blue liner it's almost like a blurple uh, but like more deep and it's beautiful i love this the another one is this one. I don't wear it on my lips as much, but I like this again as a liner. And for now, I'm just not ready to let go of this. And I know that I don't have anything to do this in my collection. So this one is from Sephora Collection again. And this is in the shade number 29. And then we have these here. And again, this is kind of similar to the red category. I don't like... I, oh, I love reaching for kind of vampy shades. And with these, I like reaching for kind of like the liquid lipstick formula if I reach for these shades but I feel like it's unnecessary having three of them and I've hold on to these because I really like kind of the formula of these maybe not the colour pops one so much but I love the colours of these two so I feel like it's time to let at least one or two of these go so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them out uh, the first one we have here is Notion from um, Colourpop it is a beautiful kind of Again, vampy shade. We're gonna swatch them all out and I'm gonna compare them. Next up we have Saturday, again from Colourpop. I think I like this one better than Notion, but I just want to swatch them again. Okay, so here we have those three shades swatched out. I feel like, um, I forgot to mention, the last one that I have is KVD Exorcism, uh, which is this one here. So, obviously these are all very similar and I think the one that I like the most is Saturday from Colourpop which is this one in the middle it's not as purpley toned and it's more kind of red based which I really really like when it comes to my vampire shades in autumn I feel like they use more wearable so I'm going to keep this one with these two I was kind of ready to declutter both of them and I might still but I just feel like 
they are I mean they're all, all very similar aren't they it's so difficult I think I'm gonna keep the Kat Von D for now because I want to try out the uh, shade from Colourpop first and see if it's still good and then like because it is again a bit older and if it's still good I might declare this later on but for now I want to keep this because I know this is a formula that's still fresh so for now Kat Von D X is really gonna stay and Colourpop Notion is gonna go I think the next category that makes sense to tackle is purples because I don't have too many purples and then I'm going to get into the more difficult categories towards the end. So let's go to purples now and then we can go from there. Okay, so I changed my mind when I was picking things out. I wanted to include my kind of fuchsia pinks as well. Uh, because just to have a few more to play with but out of these I'm gonna start with like the more purpley ones which are these here but you can see this is also more of a kind of fuchsia shade so that's kind of why I wanted to do both because they kind of overlap in my opinion but let's start with this one because this is again a really unique one in my collection this is the shade Roxy again from KVD I have a lot of KVD because this was my favorite lip liquid lipstick formula back in the day when I was wearing these a lot Again, this is a very unique color and I really, really like the shade of this. And I know this is one that I'm going to keep because it's fun. I don't have anything else like it. And again, it's one that I like wearing as a liquid liner. So this one is going to stay. Um, then I'm going to tackle like these here. Because I feel like there's a lot of overlapping shades in here. So I'm going to start with this one, which is LUV from um, KVD again. And this one I've had in my um, whole collection for the pan, so that's why it's a little bit more used. Um, you can definitely see this is more kind of pink toned purple, but I really like this. But I want to compare how different this is to the other two that I have. Okay, so I swatched out all of the three. The first one, like I said, was LUV. The second one is from Sephora again, and this one is in shade number 19. And then lastly, we have another KVD in the shade Bauhaus. So as you can see, they all are different. However... All of these two are different. This one is more cool tone, this one is a bit warmer. I feel like they are a very similar tone and because of that I'm going to declare one of them. And the one that I feel like I like the tone better off is the KVD one rather than the Sephora one because it's too cool tone and I don't really reach for these type of shapes anymore so this one can be decluttered as well. And then with the other one which is Bauhaus, I am going to keep that for now because I feel like it's different enough. But I'm going to keep it in this pile and compare it to some of the fuchsia shades before I decide what to do with it fully. But for now, LUV is going to be kept. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch out some other things. This one, I, I know I'm going to keep because this is a bit different. And it's not really a traditional liquid lipstick. But I'm just going to swatch it out for you. Let me actually swatch it up here. Um, this one is like a lip and cheek stain from um, YSL in the shade number one. And this is one of their baby doll kiss and blushes. So that is what this one looks like. It's more of a kind of... Been a formula, it's more something that you can share out. It's not a traditional liquid lipstick, but I am going to keep that because again, I had this in my whole collection of product pan and I really, really enjoyed uh, wearing this both on my lips and my cheeks. But with the other ones, I'm going to swatch these out. Um, I'm going to start with this one, which is another Maybelline one. And again, I love the formula, but this color is, mm, might be something that I'm not sure about. So I'm going to swatch this one again. I just feel like the packaging is a bit deceiving, but this one is definitely better than the. Um, one in the kind of red shade that I showed before but this one is in the shade romantic and I really really like um, like I said the formula but I want to compare it to what else I have so that is this swatched out and you can see that it's definitely kind of hot more hot pink than the first one so I'm gonna kind of continue comparing but yeah I want to just keep the swatches this one is one of the brightest shades that I have in my collection that's why I held on to it but again the formula just isn't very good and this one is the sleek matte me liquid lipstick in the shade Brink pink and it might be time for let this one go, but I just kept it on because it's such a vibrant neon pink, as you can see. Um, so that is it swatch there. And then the last one that I have to swatch is this one right here, which is another KVD um, beauty one in the shade Bachelorette. Okay, so there we have it. Those are the shades swatched out. And looking at them now, this one is actually one that I like more, the tone of. But it is also quite similar to the, like, um... Why sell cheek stain? You can see them here, but they're all definitely different formulas. And I think for now, I do want to keep this because I know I love the formula of this. And I feel like if I have like less liquid lipstick in my collection, I might be more keen to reach for this one. So for now, this one is going to stay. But with the rest of the three, I am very, very torn. I think 
these might be three that I throw in my maybe palette because I want to try them on, on my lips. Bachelorette is definitely more kind of ready pink, like a raspberry pink. This one is such a neon pink, as you can see, it's like again one of the brightest shades that I have. I really, really like it. Uh, but the form I use might be not the greatest. Like I know that it kind of flakes off, it's it's just a bit more difficult to work with, but I do love the colour, so I do want to play around with it a bit more to see how I like it. And then lastly, the one here was in the shade Bauhaus, and I know that I like this, but it might be something that I don't reach for as often, and it is similar to kind of, I mean it's not that similar, but it kind of is a little bit more similar to what's the purple that I saved here, so I do want to play around with this and see if it's something that I feel like it's unique enough, and if not, I might declare it. So all three of these, we're going to my maybe pile. So not as good with that, I only have five declared now, but let's move on to more kind of pink toned. Uh, now so when it gets a bit more difficult because I have a lot of kind of similar shades here, but I'm going to start with the slightly more kind of mauve pinks and then go like save the nudie pinks for later. So let's just put some out here because I know that I have quite a few to go through. Okay, so these are kind of the more pinky pinks that I have, and then I have a few more kind of nudie pinks that I'm going to go through later, like I said, but I won't tackle these first. So, let's just organize them a bit more so they kind of are next to similar colors, I think that's good. The first one I have, you can see I have a lot of KVD and Sephora here, actually all of them are KVD or Sephora. The first one here is in the shade Lovesick, and it's just the, this mini, and I know this is a shade that I quite enjoy, but you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to just go ahead and swatch all these out without going through them, and then once I have them all in my hand, I'm going to go through which swatch is which. Okay, so here we have all of the swatches. You can see them right there. The first one here is Lovesick from KVD. The second one is um, Sephora Collection in number 6. Next one we have Sephora Collection in 13. Next up we have KVD. Uh, Beauty in Mother. Next to that is the same formula in the shade Berlin. And lastly, Sephora Collection in the shade number 103. So those are the swatches that I have. You can see, definitely see that I have a lot of overlapping here. Also, I realized that this shade here, which is Berlin, maybe should have gone better with this kind of um, orange tones up there because oh, I mean, this is a difficult kind of shade to place. Um, so let's just tackle that one first. I do like it, but again, it's, it's one that I think I'm going to have to try on my lips because I'm not sure if I want to keep this one. I have a lot of these kind of mid-tone shades and I do want to play around with them a bit more to see how they look on the lips. So I think this one is to get another one that's going to go into the maybe pile for now. So looking at the other ones though, these two are obviously very, very similar and I feel like the more unique one out of the two is this one here, which is Lovesick. It has a little bit more kind of... I don't know, an, an interesting undertone. Um, the other one is more kind of typical kind of nudie, mauve pink, which I have loads of other regular lipstick in my collection, which I think I would reach for more. So this one here, which is shade number six from Sephora collection, I will declutter. Uh, but I am going to keep lovesick for now. With the other two here, are, which are these two right here, I am not sure what I want to do with them yet. This one here is more of a metallic liquid lipstick, and I know that I've worn this before and I really thought it was fun, but I just... Don't know if I thought this was fun be because of the height that was around metallic li lipsticks at the time. We've actually kind of liked that. So for now, I think I am going to put both of these in the maybe pile and I'm going to try them on in the video that's going up, up after this one. Just so you can kind of, I don't know, so it's, I'm going to try them on my lip and see if I like them and make a decision from there. Also, I just realized that I'm going to throw this in here. I forgot about this lipstick because I have this in my whole collection for the palette at the moment, so I completely forgot to pull this in. But I do have this in my liquid lipstick category in my spreadsheet, and this one is Creative from uh, Chanel, but you can see it right there. This is more of a sheer formula. I have such a like weird kind of categorization with these kind of lipsticks because I have my, for example, my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in my regular lipstick collection, but this one in my liquid lipsticks. So I think in, once I have uh, decluttered some of these once here I'm gonna kind of reorganize my whole thing and make it more kind of structured like bullets and then liquid lipsticks as more of a hybrid kind of thing with both these types as well as the kind of more traditional ones so yeah I'm gonna keep this one I have been working on it and I really really enjoyed this shade and so this one is also gonna stay so that was it with kind of the mauve tones we're now gonna move on to some other shades and um, if you look at what I have left <laughs> you can see it right here it's a big mix of things but it's mainly either pinky nudes or more kind of red tones or more kind of traditional nudes. So I think I'm going to do it in those three categories and I'm going to start with the baby pinks. Okay. 
Okay, so it's again a bit more kind of, I don't know, it's, it's difficult to kind of place yourself because some of them are kind of in between categories. But I'm going to tackle these here. I'm going to start with this one because it is more of a kind of brighter shade, so maybe it should have gone in the previous category. But you can see it has been kind of bleached by the sun. This side is definitely lighter than this one um, because I had it laid out. But yeah, looking at it now, it definitely should have gone in the pink category, not the nudes. But this one is a really, really vibrant pink um, and it definitely looks bright, I need to mix this one up. But this one is in the shade um, Backstage Bambi and I really like this one. I do like these kind of bright pinks on me so I think for now I'm going to keep this one but yeah I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep it, I like these shades and it's definitely brighter than some of the ones I have here. For example I would be way more inclined to keep this one for example than this one here which I put in the Mavis pile so I am going to keep that one for now. Then we have these five here which I am going to swatch out and then once I have them swatched out of my hand I am going to tackle them with you guys. Okay, so I have this watch out here, and as you can see, I completely failed doing like a pink nude collection, but I feel like they still kind of stand out from what I have uh, left after this, so I'm just going to tackle them anyway. So the first shade here I have is the Maybelline uh, Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Loyalist. Next up we have Colourpop Midi, which is this one here. Next up we have um, a NYX Lip Lingerie in Baby Doll. Next up we have Sleek Petzl and lastly KVD Melancholia. So those are the five shades and first impressions, um, this one and these, like these three here are obviously more kind of similar and then these two are more similar so I'm going to tackle them in that manner. But first of all, this one here, which is the Sleek Matte Me, I am panning at the moment, so I'm not going to declutter it because I'm trying to finish it, but it will leave my collection soon. So we'll go to the Keep Pile for now, but it will be decluttered eventually. This one here is quite similar, but it's just a bit more pink. And I'm not sure how I feel about it because I feel like the Matte Me lipstick is already very pink. So I think I'm going to put this in my Maybe Pile, try it on, see how I like it, and then make a decision from there. So this one will go in my Maybe. Then with these three here, which are these here, I feel like this one is a really nice nude. It's more of a kind of beige nude, and that is the Loyalist shade from the Matte Ink uh, Maybelline line. So that one I think I'm going to keep. However, Maybelline next to it is very similar, but it's just a bit more kind of pink toned. I don't know, it's, I just don't like the undertones of this. And it is also very, very, very old in my collection, so I think it's definitely time to let this one go. So this one will be decluttered because I feel like I would be more prone to reach for this shade comparative to this. Then we have this shade here, which is the one here. This is very, very pale, but for now I don't have anything like it. I mean, you see, see most things are more like kind of deeper than that, so I think this is another one that I am going to keep at the moment. So definitely not doing too, too great. Like I said, my aim is to do color 20, and if I'm going to do the keep 10 to color 10, I need to put 20 items in my uh, maybe pile. I need to put 10 in my color pile today and then keep the rest, if that makes sense. So although I'm not doing great, I'm only declared 7. I'm doing okay I would say so that is kind of where we are at the moment and I feel like if I ended up keeping way too many to start with I might go through them again and put some in my maybe pile so we can make a decision um but for now I'm happy so we're going to move on to the next category which I think we're going to continue on with the rest of the nudes okay so this is a big kind of chunk of items because these are more kind of it's a different type of nude than these, but I want to... Actually, I'm going to do these separately, I think, because I feel like these better go together. And also, I have quite a lot already. This is another one that I haven't opened yet. This is a liquid lipstick from Too Faced in the shade Sellout. Um, and I haven't opened it because I have way too many liquid lipstick, obviously. So I'm going to take this out of the equation for now. I might declutter it depending on where I am, but I'm not going to put this in any specific pile at the moment because it depends on what I keep. Um, and now we're going to make a decision if I want to pass this on or if I want to try it out for myself. So for now I'm just going to take this out and decide what I want to do with the rest. So here we have the rest and again I'm just going to swatch these out on my hand and then we can discuss them. Okay, so you can see the swatches right here and again it is difficult because I feel like some of these are similar to these here. But um, yeah, that's just how it goes because again it's very difficult to kind of see what they look like in the tube sometimes but i'm going to start with this one here which is the one on the end this is the shade ophelia from kvd and i currently have this in the whole collection for the pan and i really really love this shade so obviously i'm going to keep it and it's nice to have as a guideline because now i can understand like for example i can understand how light this is and so on but um yeah i am gonna keep this 
and then I'm going to make a decision regarding the rest. And with the rest of the four, we have the first one here, which is slightly deeper nude, and this one is number 40 from um, Sephora Collection. Next to that, we have number 33, which is more of a grey toned. Next to that, we have more of a peachy toned nude, and that is number 22, uh, again for Sephora Collection. And then lastly, we have a KVD a Beauty in the shade Bow and Arrow, which is this one here. I'm pretty sure I will keep Bow and Arrow because I know that I like this shade. But with the rest of the three, I just want to try them on the lips to see how they look. Because this one looks quite great tone, but it might be quite nice. This one might be... Do I actually want to try this one on or is it too similar to Bow and Arrow? Yeah. Oh god. Now, I'm gonna be harsh and I'm gonna declutter this one. But I'm gonna decide to keep Bow and Arrow because I know I like this shade and I know I like the formula. So this one is going to stay and then I'm going to declutter this one from Sephora Collection which is in number 40. I think it's a beautiful shade where I just feel like these two are too similar and I don't want to have too many similar shades again in my collection because that is why I have been getting overwhelmed. So this one is going to be decluttered and then these two are going to go into my Maybe Pal. Okay, so I have 10 colours in my Maybe Pal. Um, so definitely not as many as I would hope because I only have 7 products left to try. So I might have to go through my key pal afterwards to see if there's anything else I can throw into the maybe pal that I might have made two like quick decisions on. Um, but for now, that is kind of where I'm standing. But let's just go through kind of the last two categories. And I already mentioned these here. I'm gonna go through these quickly because I feel like these are miscellaneous, kind of more grey toned kind of colours. Um, the two of these are the lip lingeries and then we have one from e.l.f. which is one of the sheer matte liquid lipsticks in the shade Praline I believe or it's a Praline Petal. So I'm going to swatch these out again and we can compare them um, and use the set what to do with these three. Okay so we have the three swatched out there and honestly it's <laughs> getting really difficult because I know that I like this one. I reach for this um, a lot when I want like a really true brown lip but I also know that I need to be a bit more kind of rough with my decisions because I'm keeping too much. Uh, but this one, let's just go through them. This one is in the shade Embellishment from the NYX Lip Lingerie. This one is in the shade Teddy. And then like I said, this is in um, Praline Petal from e.l.f. So those are the three that I have and these are the three there. And honestly, I like them a lot. I am gonna do some changes around, I believe. Because I feel like looking at it now, I'm more keep, like prone to kind of keep something like this, which is this one here, than this really pale one because I want to see what this looks like because I know that I find this one here which was the uh, Ophelia shade that I'm currently panning quite light and this one is way lighter so I think I want to play around with this I'm gonna put this in my maybe pal and that like I said was the other lip, NYX lip lingerie in um, baby doll so this one's gonna go in my maybe pal and instead of that I'm gonna put Teddy in my key pal because I know I like this shade uh, but then this one here, which was embellishment, I'm going to put in my maybe palette because I'm not sure if I like the kind of more purpley undertone to it. This one can go in there. And then we have e.l.f. Um, Parting Petal, which I feel like is a very unique tone and it's also very new. I got this as a gift to purchase, so I didn't pay for it. But I did try it on once just for fun and I did like the shade, but I do want to play around with more and see how I like it. So I'm going to put this in my maybe palette as well, just to kind of see what the formula is like and see if it compares to everything else that I am keeping. So before we go through my kind of keep palette again to see if there's anything else I want to put in my maybe pal, uh, I want to go through the last category. So these right here are the last category and these are more kind of the burnt kind of shades. The first one we have is Lolita from KVD, then we have Lolita 2 from KVD, this one is, I believe is Plath, yeah, and then lastly we have Sephora Collection in number 25. So these are the ones that I have right here and I'm going to swatch them out and we can discuss um, the shapes. Okay, so there we have the last shapes and okay, we have a lot of overlap but I know I like these kind of shapes, so, shapes, so it's going to be difficult. But the interesting thing is this one here, which is Lolita, is very very similar to Prowling Petal from e.l.f. I know they're different formulas but they are very very similar on its own and I want to play around and see how they compare. So I'm going to put this one as well in my maybe pile and that was the original Lolita from KVD. The second Lolita, which is this one here, I like the tone of better, um, and it might be one that I keep, but also these two are very similar, but I know I like Plath and I know I like this one here from Sephora, so I'm, I really like all of them, and 
I just wanted to play around to see which ones I like better. And because of that, I think I'm going to put all of these again in my maybe palette just to compare them and see which one I prefer. So I'm moving all of these to my maybe time palette, which is quite good. So that means I have 17 in my maybe pile. Um, and ideally I want to add three, so I'm going to move all of my key pile back in here and we're going to discuss them. Okay, so there we have all of my shades again. And we're going to kind of go through them. Um, the ones I 100% are not going to keep, I'm going to take out. And then we can take it from there. This one is a keep, this one is a key. Ophelia is a keep because I really like that. Obviously this one because I'm panning it. Same with this one because I'm also panning it so I can't really declutter them. Actually, nah, I am going to keep them because I like them both. And I really want the satisfaction of finishing this one rather than decluttering so that one I can also keep. Um, what about the rest? I do want to keep Backstage Bambi because it's so bright. Uh, I need to mix it up though. Um... No, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Backstage Bambi in the main palette because I want to compare it to this one. Although the tones are very different, they are both really bright pinks and this one is already in the main palette. So I want to compare them and see which one I like better and also with the formula. So I'm going to put this in the main palette actually. And hmm, with the rest, now looking at it, I think it's excessive put, keeping both of these. So I'm going to put both of these in my maybe palette, I'm going to compare them. And my idea is to battle these out, uh, although I'm going to do keep them the color 10, I will battle these out uh, and I need to keep one of them. So these are both going to go in my maybe pal, and I think with that we should have 20 in my maybe pal. And then, uh, yeah, let's just look at what I've kept so far. Okay, so this is what I've kept so far. I kept 16 items, which is obviously more than I daily wanted to keep because adding the 10 from um, my maybe pal, I would have 26 and I wanted to get 25. And with that, I actually have decided I'm not going to even gonna open this because it's just going to make it more difficult and I'd rather pass this on to someone else when it's brand new. So this one is sell out again from uh, Too Faced and although I was dying to try this formula, I used to don't love lipsticks anymore so I'm going to pass this on. So this one can go, which means that I have one more decluttered. And to be honest, I don't feel too bad about this because these two right here, I don't really count as traditional lip liquid lipsticks. And I am also panning this one, so hopefully this will be out of my collection in the next maybe two months. So with that, I am actually really, really happy with my declutter, and obviously I'm going to add 10 more from the other pile there. But so far, I have decluttered this right here, which is quite good for me, which are 9, and I'm really, really happy with that. And yeah, that is it basically for now. Stay tuned for next video goes up. I think it's going to be in maybe two days. Uh, where I'm going to battle all these out. I will probably fill that tomorrow uh, so I can uh, compare them all and I'm going to do lip swatches in that video um, as well as some more kind of detailed swatches on my hand. So that is it for today. I really really hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!